and turn with me to 2 Kings chapter 4. Because I think it's the call right now to us. It's the call to the leaders of the networks. Verse 38. See, this happened to me two weeks ago. I had a, a health crisis. And in that health crisis, I got caught up again. Two weeks ago. And all of a sudden, I'm standing before the Lord, which I needed to be, and... 2 Kings 4, verse 38. And he said, watch what I do. And he took this pot and he took it and set it on this stove like I'd never seen before. And he said, I will begin to set the pot on the stove to start boiling on December the 10th. I, I, I mean, I, I didn't say anything. I didn't know what to say. But I know I ended up three hours later okay. And that's what happens when you get in the presence of God, no matter how bad you are. And so since that time, I've said, Lord, uh, please show me what you're doing. And he's shown me a lot of things that I can't share, but I do plan to share this one. Because it was as if he said, here's what can save a nation. Elisha came back to Gilgal. That was where one of the school of the prophets were. During a famine in the land. The land wasn't doing good. Clay mentioned that earlier. The sons of the prophets were sitting before him. And he said to his servant, put on a large pot, and cook stew for the sons of the prophets. Now here's where we need to be headed as we are finishing this year and pressing toward Passover. The prophets are going to have to eat. In a new way. So the Lord said, one thing he said to me is, I'm putting a pot on the stove to prepare a taste for the prophets. Now, Atlanta, God brought me here to tell you that prophetic mantle that you have never worn fully. You're going to put it on before we leave tonight. And then one of them went into the field. Now, these are the sons of the prophets. These are those that are rising up. See, one of the things this year means in Hebrew is a new troop arises. Look around. A new troop arises. And that also means there will be so many people that have gone away that will be brought back. And 
It also means a bunch of people are coming in that, that are at my hotel. <laughs> and we're going to have to judge very carefully as we go into this season ahead. We're going to have to lay down so much that we don't carry judgment or judge too quickly because God's bringing in a group. Now, notice this one prophet went out into the field, gathered herbs, found a wild vine, and gathered from it a lap full of wild gourds, and came and cut them up into the pot of stew, although they did not know what they were. Now, my next point. The prophetic is about to shift, starting next month. God brought me to Atlanta tonight, to say the prophetic will shift from Georgia. Wow. I mean, the first song that comes to your mind, the devil went down to Georgia. But God is saying the prophetic is going to shift in Georgia. And notice something. There's going to be some things go in the pot that we're not familiar with. Therefore, we're going to have to be very careful in taking it out of the pot until God says, you're going to deal with this. And then notice something else. They served it to all of the sons of prophets to eat. And they cried out, man of God, there's death in the pot. Well, we're not going to be afraid of the death that is in the pot called America right now. Because I see a different pattern here. And if God is putting the pot on the burner, something is about to happen in such a way that we're going to have to be very cautious. Then Elisha, the older prophet, said, bring some flour. See, he didn't judge the wild prophets. He didn't even judge what they brought to the pot. He just knew he had to do something for them to eat in the future. So he said, bring me some flour, and he threw it in the pot, and it negated the poison. And all of a sudden, they ate something new, something that they didn't take the poison out of the pot. They negated it. See, I think we spend so much time trying to get the poison out of the pot instead of knowing that we already have a solution to throw something in it that can cause it to change. And they all ate. That's what it's going to look like in the future. A new troop is going to arise. God has chosen Atlanta now as a prophetic governmental city. You're going to be able to take what is so bad. And what could be so bad for the future, and you're going to be able to neutralize it. So many taste and see the Lord is good. 